and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a November favorites, as you can tell by the title. Um, I skipped last month, so I feel like I have quite a bit to talk about this month and show you guys and share with you guys my favorite products of the month of November and really the past two months that I've been using and that I just absolutely love. I'm just going to jump right in today. If you guys like this video, then don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new. Welcome. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. I've been posting some more Instagram photos a lot uh, more frequently, so I hope that you guys are enjoying those. But anyways, without any further ado, I'm just going to jump right in and get started. So the first favorite that I have of the month is going to be this concealer. And this is the YSL All Hours Concealer. And I got this off of Octoly. Um, it's an app that you can get... Um, free product if you review it and stuff like that if you're a beauty influencer. So I got this concealer and this is such an amazing concealer because I was stuck on the Tarte Shape Tape for months and months and I decided I wanted to try something different. I love testing out concealers so I got this and it's very, um, it's very like light I guess you could say. But you guys can kind of see like right there the color and shade but it's just very like it's still full coverage but it's more of like a lightweight concealer the Tarte one compared to like Tarte Shape Tip because I'm sure a lot of you guys use that one that one's more like heavy duty full coverage this one's a little bit lighter kind of reminds me of the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer I've been loving it I've been using it every single day and usually I'll bake with it as well sometimes I'll just okay this eyelash is really fucking bothering me Sometimes I'll just, you know, set it with a um, under under eye powder or something like that. So I've been loving that first off and foremost. And then I've been loving some foundations I'm going to share with you. The first combination that I've been using nonstop is this PS My Perfect Color Perfect Finish Foundation. Um, this is the foundation that my one of my sweet friends slash subscribers sent me in uh, in Scotland. Thank you so much to Shauna for sending me that. This is a medium coverage semi matte finish vitamin uh, foundation. It has vitamin E in it, and this is honestly perfect for people with dry skin. And you guys know that I have dry skin. If you've been watching me, I talk about that all the time. And this has really helped a lot. I love it and I love that it has the vitamin E um, in there. So I've been loving it, but I've been absolutely loving this. It's really great. It's like a drugstore foundation and I know that it's from the UK, so I'm not really sure where you can get it, but I've been mixing the shades Cool Sand and Toffee together and it's just been awesome. I love both of them. Another foundation combination that I've been loving, which first off, I've just been loving this one on its own and it's the Maybelline Fit Me uh, Dewy and Smooth Foundation. I have been loving this. I don't know if you guys have used it. Let me know down in the comments what you think because I was using the uh, matte and poreless one for a long time and then I kind of switched over to the this one I've been I was mixing those and then I used this on its own and I was like this foundation is so amazing I love it and sometimes just to give it a little bit more coverage and a little bit more fullness then I add this Dior forever foundation as well so because I don't love this Dior foundation on its own but I like it mixed with this one so that's another foundation uh, combination that I've been absolutely loving and the next thing is actually by PS as well the um, the UK brand I'm not sure if it's technically a UK brand but she sent it to me and she's in the UK so and this is the contour kit kit three shades of sculpt defined features it has these three shades I'll show you guys this one right here um, is the contour and then the bronze and then the highlight so I've been using all three of them I've been using this lightest shade right here to contour my nose and then the middle one sometimes I use to like uh, sharpen up my contour to bronze and then the last one I use to highlight I'll either use it to set my under eyes or I'll use it to um, highlight my nose so I've been loving this palette I was pleasantly surprised because I looked at it and I was just like mm, looks kind of bland looks kind of plain but really when I used it I absolutely loved it so if you guys can find that anywhere get your hands on it I'm gonna try to look online and find a link for you guys to buy it next thing I've been absolutely loving is this Camille Beckman cucumber aloe glycerin hand therapy it says immediate relief for dry skin non greasy long lasting formula pure and clean ingredients so as you guys know I absolutely love Camille Beckman their products are so amazing their ingredients are awesome and they're just such an awesome company and I love using their products and their products are awesome the lotion is literally the best lotion that I've ever used in my life it's like the 
only lotion I pretty much use. It's my go-to. I carry it with me all the time. I love having stuff like this, especially when it gets cooler outside because when it gets colder, you guys can see like my hands get cracky. They start bleeding. Like it's just nasty. But with this stuff, oh my gosh, it helps so much. I was using the, um, I also love this one too. This is the beauty control lotion. My Aunt Lorraine always brings that over and um, gives me some of that. I love it. But I've been loving this for something a little different, having a nice scent to it. And it's just a nice, refreshing, clean scent, the cucumber aloe. I love it so much. You guys definitely have to check out Camille Beckman if you haven't. I love their Silky Body Lotion. That is like my favorite product by them. But I'm really loving this too. This is amazing. Get it in your life. I'm not even kidding. And I think I have a discount code. If you guys want to check it out, it's down below. All right, next up, I have this Natasha Denona Glow All Over Glow Face and Body and Shimmer Powder. And zero, and it's in the shade 01 Light. I've been absolutely loving this. As you can see in the pan, it looks bland. It looks kind of, you know, blah, but it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, I haven't been able to put it down. Like, you know, because like right after I review something, um, I usually go to something else, but look at that. So beautiful. And it doesn't even look like that. Oh my gosh. Like whatever on my hand, but on my face, on my body, it looks incredible. You guys, I'm not even kidding. Um, this had to grow on me a little bit. Some products just grow on me. Um, but it is absolutely just healthy looking like, look how healthy and beautiful that is like it's just so it's not over the tops I'm not really into like over the top highlighters right now I'm kind of into more natural highlighters I don't know why but I am and this one is amazing it's kind of a good mixture a good balance between the two and I've been starting to put it on my body if I'm wearing like a sweater or something and I want to like put it on my collarbone or put it like on my chest or down here then I will do it so I absolutely love this product if you guys are thinking about it totally get it it's a great it's probably my favorite high-end highlighter right now so I'm loving it. And next up is this illuminating and purifying exfoliating mask. And this is by Lancome. And I love this mask. It is great. It smells good. It doesn't have too crazy of a smell, but that's what it looks like in the pot right there. And it's kind of like a jelly with like some little exfoliating beads. And this is a really, really good exfoliator and mask for, um, for those of you guys that are dry and don't want something too, too vigorous with like the sharp beads that you can just like feel it like hurting your skin. This is really gentle and really good. And it gives your skin like this illuminating feeling. And I really love this for whenever I like, I do this like two times a week. So I've been doing that and it's just making my skin feel really, really nice. And if you guys are looking for a good mask for dry skin, definitely check that one out. Next up, I have this Emile Corden, um, Kiss Full of Lux and Charm, the finest lip pot. Y'all, these lip pots are insane. These smell so good. I have two of them. This one is in the um, uh, scent white coconut cake, number 72 cocoa. And it feels and smells amazing. Like they feel like butter and they smell so good like so so good this is like my favorite thing to use like if i'm either doing my makeup or at night whenever i go to bed and i want something to like last all night on my lips then i use this and i am so so obsessed with it and i love it so much so you guys should definitely check it out it is amazing a milk cordon i'll find a link down below um this kind of reminded me a little bit of like the glam glow lip gloss stuff but this isn't as sticky and i feel like it's more long lasting and more nourishing i i love this so much more and it's so great and they're so fancy and so cute and you can just like put them on your coffee table put them on your nightstand and they're just so luxurious and amazing the other one i have is like a pink one i can't remember the scent of it but it's amazing and i love it let me see actually it's right here I keep it in that drawer right there and this one is um lisa rose rose champagne and it's so nice i love it so nice they're both amazing if i had to pick one i probably like the coconut cake because i love coconut but they're both amazing so luxurious and so fancy and nourishing great for this time of year when the weather is getting cooler outside all right last but not least is this flower beauty setting spray it's seal the deal hydrating setting spray with a dewy finish Oh my gosh, I was pleasantly surprised by this product. I think I'm going to put on more right now. Mm. 
As you guys know, I love the Flower Beauty highlighter palette. I've talked about it a lot on like Snapchat, and I think that it's such an amazing deal and such amazing quality, so I use that all the time. So I decided to, I don't know why I got the Flower Beauty. I was at the drugstore doing like a drugstore haul or something, and I decided to pick up pick this up um, recently, and I have not been able to put it down. It is so good. I love this setting spray so much. Um, you can get it at Walmart if you've ever tried Flower Beauty before. They have it. I know they have it at Walmart. I'm not sure where else. It says it locks in makeup, hydrates, protects from pollution and particles, moisture boosting and yeah I just I absolutely love it so much if you guys are thinking about getting the setting spray do it it is one of my favorites right now absolutely love it and um, I, I just love that it's hydrating they might have another one I can't remember I think that they do have another one I'll have to try that one too but you guys know I love dewy and hydrating so I had to get that one but anyways, that wraps up this favorites video. I hope that you guys enjoyed and please don't forget to share with me your favorites down below in the comments. I would love to hear what you guys have been loving lately. So yeah, don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like this video, subscribe if you're new and want to see more videos and follow me on social media. I hope that you guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.